What's up everybody, it's your boy Showtime Doctor. So we got the content notes for the next patch that's coming. I wanted to go over it here, give you guys my thoughts. So we got Small Miracle coming, that's going to be the Christmas story. Looks like it's going to be available for about 20 some days, maybe a little bit more. Usually they're like 21 days, so I guess that's a safe bet. So all you got to do is reach account level 9, and you're done. So see what we got here last week they'll be releasing the last apparently there's going to be 20 total stages they'll release the last 10 there's your currencies right there red socks and bakery coupons let's see here so here's your strong heroes so raz clarissa hmm i like clarissa so yeah it looks like it's mostly the storyline characters Angelica's in there, Montmorency. <laughs> a lot of water heroes. Interesting. And then, yeah, there's normal difficulty, world difficulty, etc. Catalyst. The last, uh, the last side story ended up being a pretty good place to farm Catalyst. Artifact additional effect. Okay, card of small miracles. So that'll, that'll be a new artifact. Uh, level one to ten. I wonder if that's just a specific, like that's only for a side story. That's kind of odd. If equipped, card of small miracles is at max level. Even more red socks can be obtained. Oh, cool! So it's like a loot, additional loot drop stuff. So that's pretty good. All right, what else we got here? So here's your exchanges. Generally, the exchanges are pretty much the same, except they switch up the uh, catalysts. But they're pretty much the same for most of the events that I've seen so far. A reward chest for working hard. Uh, is that just... I wonder, okay, so it says chest of small fortunes, but how do you actually get one, did it say? Hidden achievement, and you can find a wish paper. If you make the wish come true, you can receive extra red socks and bakery coupons. Now that's the artifact. Well, I don't know if this isn't going to just end up being like a quest reward or something, but that's there. So we'll see when we get there. And same thing, if you do a lot of the achievements, you get another gold transmute stone. Get six of them, that's a moonlight summon. Equipment, the hat of small miracles and the sock of small miracles. Both of them epic. Can be exchanged. Each piece of equipment set. The one's speed, apparently. The other one is attack. I wonder if those are going to be the pre-rolled uh, pre stats. Those are pretty good stats, actually overall not bad not bad when enhancing the equipment after purchase additional stats will be assigned randomly uh well maybe not then <laughs> they got a couple random stats coming exclusive four star artifact ah oh, here we go okay so what does this do increase attack and defense of all enemies enemies <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I guess maybe they mean uh, allies. Attack and defense of all enemies slash maybe allies by 2.5 to 5%. Yeah, I wonder if that's like, just like a translation there. Or maybe it's like hard mode. You increase their stats, but they drop better loot. For the duration of Small Miracle Side Story, blah, blah, blah. Oh, actually, you know what? They were saying that when you wear this... You can get more more uh, socks and stuff. That's the currency. So hell, maybe that is gonna be a thing. We buff the enemies a little bit. <laughs> Interesting. Now here's something I saw just as I was scrolling through right before I got on here. Church of Eros Axe specialty changes. So all you guys about Axe God. I don't know how. I haven't heard anything super bad about how he's fared. Uh, since his little nerf there, but 
I haven't heard people just like completely stop using them, although I don't see him much anymore. Three Star Heroes, Church of Ilros X can receive a specialty change. After completing the specialty change, it will be reborn with a new sprite, new skills, skills plural, okay, and new animations. Additional stat changes and enhancements can be made via the skill tree as well. So here's some of his moves. Smacks the enemy with an 80% chance to decrease defense for two turns and recover 20% of max health. Well, amount recovered increases by 50% if the enemy is defeated. Of max health, not even damage done, just max health. That's pretty strong. Damage dealt increases proportional to max health. Number two. Oh, well, maybe that was the only skill change. I thought they said multiple, but maybe that was a translation thing. Okay, so... Once all three specialty quests have been cleared and the trial has been completed successfully, the specialty will be complete. After completing a specialty change, hero's appearance and skills will change and the hero cannot revert to the previous state. Oh, I thought they were going to say, like, uh, you completed three specialty changes, here's this other thing. <laughs> Oh well. So there you go. So there's the requirements. All you gotta do, kill some Church of Eoros devotees. I'm trying to remember. I wanna say it was 5 1 that was really good about that. But it's whatever, 5 1 or 5 2, the exploration that has a lot of Church of Eoros people. As well as some farming mats. Like you can get coins there, etc. Uh, six Blazing Soul Catalysts. You are more likely to bang the hottest girl you know in your life. Then get six of those. Even if you're a girl, <laughs> you're more likely to bang a girl. All right, bad joke. Obtain 500 equipment. Blah, blah, blah. There's your specialty tree. <laughs> I like this test build where they got 99999 nine, nine, nine of all the super rare stuff. <laughs> Must be nice. There's all the different things you can do. Health increase. Damage increase. Chance of causing bleeding with disconnect. When defeating an enemy with an attack chain has a chance 15% max to decrease cooldown of attack chain. When using an attack chain has a five or excuse me, a chance, max fifty to decrease attack for a turn. Critical hit chance five percent more. If caster's health is below fifty percent after being attacked, recovers a percentage, max ten percent of max health. Can be activated once per turn. When attacked has a chance, max thirty. <laughs> It increase attack for the caster for one turn. Simultaneous specialty changes. Specialty change quests can take place for no more than two heroes at once. Boo! I got two going right now. Oh well, I don't even have the Erosax, so it doesn't really matter for me. But that sucks for you guys that are uh, capable of doing three. Alright, new monthly packs. Woo! La la la. Hero improvements and bug fixes. Here we go. Euphine. When using auto battle with Euphine, the skill Dragon's Roar now activates regardless of whether the enemy has a buff applied. <clears throat> oh, was that the only condition before? That sucks. <laughs> Kyron's stats are no longer decrepit from those displayed in his constellation, and unawakened level 60 K run stats have been changed as follows. Uh, essentially, I think that's like the 6% bonus. So, I don't know why they gave it, like, a huge <laughs> thing. So, really, his stats have been buffed. Uh, someone just told me Sorelli is not in the game, but I remember she came out during Halloween on the Korean server. So, if her stats have been buffed, I know she's a boss in some places, but that's... I guess she must be out. Maybe I just don't know. Church of Eros Axe's recall period has ended. A soul burn effect has been added to the skill attack chain. Attacks all enemies with a shockwave dealing damage proportional to the amount of enemies health lost. Increased damage deal with a soul burn. Raid Labyrinth improvements and other bug fixes. So essentially, whatever was going on. Let's see if there's any major nerfs to any of the bosses. Because I was in there, but most of my characters are level 50. So I could only 
accomplish so much. Carex Charger. Hmm. Oh, and Asman Asmanus Watcher, the summon monster, has max health and attack, but dies after using a skill. That's odd. I don't think I fought him, though. Apparently they had some cannot be buff issues with Devour. Secretary Vera. Well, anyways, uh, they put out, out a bunch of changes for the raid. So those of you that are kicking ass in there, that'll be of note to you. The amount of Coronation souvenirs owned, which can be used in the raid shop labyrinth exclusively, now displays. Oh, it didn't display before. Wow, look at that dude's test crystals. <laughs> Sky stones. Crazy. I like how he still managed to go through nine, you know, five million gold, even though he probably had max gold as well. It just shows you how expensive everything is in this game. When basic and elite monsters are defeated in normal difficulty of raid labyrinth, additional coins are dropped in these areas. Really? They weren't dropping those, well, maybe they mean something else. No, it says ancient coins. Eh, I didn't get any ancient coins when I was going through those places. Maybe it just got added, or maybe I was unlucky. Players may now preview hero skills through the hero journal. You'll be able to experience the skills of every hero, even ones you do not own yet. Huh. You get to beat up the crash test dummy pillow. Quality of life changes. Da, 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 da. Well, a bunch of QOL changes. Trying to see if there's anything big. The voiceover spe for specialty change heroes now change after the specialty change is completed. Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me, I never did try the uh, hard NPC battles in Arena. I have to actually go look at that at some point. See if it's worth it. I usually only do those Arena things. The NPC ones, if I'm like super tired or I don't have time and I need to get my all my charges out. Alright, well... It looks like the majority of the changes, guys, now. I don't know if this is going to be the entire patch. It probably will be. Maybe they'll release some extra stuff. You never know. But wanted to give you guys a preview either way. So we got the event coming. Church of Eoros Axe got a specialty change or some QOL stuff, etc. But a lot of raid fixes as well. But for the most part, game's chugging along pretty good. Um, supposedly in a week, we're supposed to get guild battle, but... They're not really saying anything about it, so I don't know. There might be like a beta period or something is what I'm going to guess is happening. Otherwise, guys, that is your official patch Wednesday update content. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I guess I might as well hit my promo. Yo, I'm Showtime Doctor, Showtime DR. You found my YouTube. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Also, check the title info. There's a link to my Twitch and my Discord. Come hit me up in either uh, Discord. We got tabs for this game, etc. So, yada, yada, yada. So, take care, guys. Good luck on your farm. Peace.